I want to welcome you back to another YouTube video, you beautiful hosers. And today is actually a video that I've considered making because of a, another YouTuber. He's actually a animator called Andre Turbe. Now, if you don't know how to spell that, that's A N D R E I T E R B E A. Uh, he's an animation creator that I have watched for a while, ever since he was at 31,000 subs. Now he's over a million. Um, however, he brought up one thing about going viral. Is going viral is great and all, but then you suffer the aftermath. Now with some of my videos that have done extremely well, I'm suffering from the aftermath of it. Because I'm no longer making those kinds of videos which... Those people subbed for. It's wrong in a way, but it's just not the content that what I wanted to create at that point in time. Now, the live streams that I have done of the unboxings and stuff, they generally do better than everything else because they're like, okay, so we're actually seeing a person unboxing it rather than them just uh, overhyping it and then editing the hell out of the video and then seeing. Oh, well, that's not exactly what I thought it was, but he's jumping for joy for whatever reason. Um, those videos of mine have been doing better, same with the gaming videos, uh, as opposed to the videos that I've edited, edited, uh, mainly because those videos are just uh, kind of self-explanatory. You're not exactly seeing a person on camera, you're just seeing what they want you to see. So if I screw up in a video, you're going to see it right away. And that's going to be put in the cringe category of my videos, which 90% of my first videos were cringe. So uh, that being said, we're kind of at a point right now where I'm slowing down on that kind of content. We're still doing reviews. Uh, we got a Venom review coming next month after I watch the film. Um, and then we have three more unboxings of Loot Crate happening this year. And I'm saying this year because uh, it might not happen again this year. And if it does, it might not happen until December. Uh, mainly because all my funds are tied right now at this point in time. Because I spent money on Christmas. And a bunch of other stuff that I probably shouldn't have. And now I'm having to replace an Xbox. But however, <clears throat> uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about, is uh, the main reason why I don't want to go viral. Now, the reason why is because when you go viral, there's always a chance that you take a hit in your views. Uh, Twin Coconuts has taken a hit in their views because they went from one specific content to another, and not very many people want to watch them react to everything because they upload twice a day. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, however, that's not really what people sub for, and I already started to do this, so then I stopped, I pumped on the brakes, and now we have a few different things that are going rather well. Um, as for Jared's stuff, it hasn't been doing that great, so I, I overhyped it, it did poorly, so now Jared's just sitting on the back burner probably going to come out at a way later time probably not any more this year at all unless i have something special to do um as for the 70 sub special that's not going to happen for a while but i'm getting sidetracked here uh back to the main topic at hand main reason why i don't want to go viral is because then viewership drops subs drop viewership drops because your content changed now, my content changed while I'm still a smaller channel, which is the best thing for me because you guys prefer seeing the content that's live stream gaming as opposed to that. Uh, those videos were informative and the other one was drama. Now, one was YouTube drama and the other one was just straight up informative. As you've seen with my net neutrality videos, most of those do rather well because I have four videos that are over a thousand views at this point in time. But the issue with those is, yeah, the views are there. But the thing is, is the people subbing from those are going to expect that content more often. And that's not the kind of stuff that I want to be making for the rest of my life. 
So I'm at that point where I'm doing what I want and you guys are providing me feedback. So then I build off of that and I go and still do what I want, but improvise to add in what you guys want. Um, as of the day I'm recording this, the live stream should have already happened. So that should be great. Um, but literally that's all I wanted to say. Because there's not a whole lot that I can say about this topic. About uh, going viral. Yes, it would be great to go viral. But it would also be bad in the long run. And I'd rather just build up my channel slowly. Rather than just watch it die. Um, as for some of my friends. One of them's already hit 100 subs. Uh, Secret Subtile. He's got way less than both of us. However, that's the reason why in my video yesterday I went and tagged them both. And as far as Evelup goes, he doesn't have a YouTube channel that I'm aware of, so I didn't uh, post the link. But that's nonetheless, those are the first two guys that I had ever actually went and uh, did a collab with. Which, coincidentally, is the first couple of videos on Trainer Tragash channel. Um, I've helped him in a way, and he's helped me in a way. Uh, I didn't actually have this YouTube channel at that point in time, because the other one I had, I terminated it myself after YouTube gave it back, and now we're here. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for 70 subs, and I also want to hope you're having a fantastic 27... Oops... I hope you're having a fantastic 2018, and if you're not, I hope it gets better for you sooner rather than later. Peace out, and I will see you all on Wednesday, which... Oh, no, I'll see you Thursday, because this is Wednesday's video. I'm messing up all over the place now.